What's up everyone, this is Spence 17 Today we're going to be talking about my favorite NBA player right now, Lowry Markkinen. I saw a couple news articles about Lowry Markkinen today that really intrigued me. Hoops Hype and SaltLakeCityDunk.com reported on something about Lowry Markkinen's contract. So Lowry Markkinen has two years left on his contract and they're both about $18 million. But on Hoops Height, they mentioned that, uh, I'll just read it. It says, Utah Jazz forward Lowry Markkinen is, an, is a negotiation and extension candidate for next year to keep an eye on. Currently, Markkinen is owed $17.3 million this upcoming season and then only $6 million of his 18 million salary is guaranteed for the 2024 2025 season i'm expecting that to happen i'd be surprised if it doesn't happen which is he he's referencing to a contract extension so nothing is set in stone on here but these higher up insiders or podcasters are essentially saying next year the utah jazz are going to renegotiate larry marketing's contract i mean he deserves way more than six million dollars in guaranteed money next year especially what he did last year and if he continues to improve next year which he will improve i guarantee that on uh, salt lake city dunk it says scotto the podcaster mentions different options the jazz have that they could do is get him to the max in different ways but he said that it is a lock. The other interesting thing he, that's mentioned that holds weight with this is that they reveal Markkinen has bought a house in Utah. Larry Markkinen bought a house in Utah. I hope it's a beautiful house. I bet you, but that's pretty big deal buying a house. I, I, I really don't know how NBA players go about if most of them just stay in a, if most of them just stay, let's say in a, a, a rental, but buying a house is a big deal. I remember Joe Ingles and Quinn Snyder had to sell their house a couple, like last year. <laughs> they both knew that they were here long term and then they weren't here anymore with us. But buying a house is is pretty big deal. Darren Williams still has a house in Utah to this day. Guys, I'm excited about this. I hope that this turns out well. I want Larry Markin to stay here long term in Utah. He deserves to be on a team long term, especially what he's gone through. I mean, he got traded twice in the span of like one and a half seasons. I'm really thrilled to have Larry Markkinen on our team. And next year, the sky is the limit. His ceiling is so high still. And I'm very glad that he was able to find a spark with the Utah Jazz. Like, guys, this is this is really fun. Also, on another note, uh, the Susu Yengi, Finland's men's national team, has been practicing for the past few days. They're getting ready for a game on August the 4th against Lithuania. The team looks happy, the team looks fun. Larry Markkinen has been practicing with the team, as you see in this photo, with other Finnish basketball superstars. It just looks, looks like a great, great time. It seems like this Finland team looks very happy playing together. They look excited to be in the FIBA World Cup. I'm excited to see Larry Markkinen just tear the international game up. I think he's gonna do great. I think we're going to see new things from him. Uh, going back to the contract with Larry Markkinen, I'm really curious to see how much the Jazz offer him and how much Larry Markkinen would sign for. Jalen Brown just signed a like $67 million per year five-year contract for $304 million. I'm not quite sure if Larry Markkinen is worth that much i don't even know really there's only maybe like three players who are worth that much and jalen brown is not one of them in my opinion i'm guessing it'll probably be around the 40 million range mark could be higher if he just goes out and he's just an ultimate superstar next year which i would love to see that happen i also have to step back and realize that like not in a bad way step back realize how grateful i am that we have lowry marketing from the donovan mitchell trade because we got Larry Markkinen, Colin Sexton, all these draft picks. We got us all-star superstar jazz fans. It's pretty great when you think about it. I have another announcement. I started a podcast right here is the picture. Uh, you can click on the link, the Spotify link down below. I just go around and I talk to other fans of NBA teams and get their perspective on some things. And so if you are not a jazz fan and you, you want to... I don't know come on the podcast you can let me know i love that i'm trying to just do it maybe like once a month because i already have another podcast that i do for like every other week that's centered around the jazz with my buddy james scott i'll put that link in the description as well oh before i go i want to show you guys a couple of the cards that i got of larry marketing recently so this is my this is one of them it's rock the rim i don't really know how well you can see that it's just, just larry marketing dunking and then i got this right here it's a good one of Larry Markkinen just 
being all shiny in a purple uniform. If you love all things jazz, please subscribe or consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers as fast as I can. I want this channel to grow. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for watching. 